Vicious Science. Today, we're going to dissect a squid. Squid are mollusks and belong to a group called cephalopods. Cephalopods are animals with legs attached to their heads. This includes squids, octopuses, nautiluses, and extinct ammonites. They're known for having a head located between the body and their limbs. There are over 500 species of squid in the world. Ranging in size from the tiniest at just 2.5 centimeters to the giant squid, which can grow as long as 20 meters. Squid are attracted to light. This is called positive phototaxis. And that's why squid fishing boats use strong lights at night. One of the squid's most unique abilities is camouflage. Some cephalopods can change their body color and mimic other animals to catch prey. There are two key reasons why they can do this. To find out, I went to a fresh fish shop. While frozen squid can be used for dissection, we chose fresh squid because some features can only be seen in live specimens. Chromotophores, pigment cells, are essential for camouflage. See how the color of the squid's skin changes? Cuttlefish use chromatophores to change body color and patterns to mimic their surroundings. They can blend into the sandy ocean floor just like this. Their skin contains many chromatophores that make this possible. This camouflage ability is supported by their highly developed nervous system. Squid have as many neurons as a dog, more than a mouse, and many of those are used to control pigment cells and change color. These chromatophores and their advanced nervous systems enable them to mimic other creatures. I'll show you the squid's brain during the dissection. Let's start the dissection. We asked the store to paralyze the squid's nerves before bringing it home. Before dissection, we observed two special limbs. Squid have eight arms and two long tentacles, used to grab prey, like this. The tentacles are longer than the arms, and their suckers are shaped like saw teeth to keep prey from escaping. That's why people sometimes remove the tentacles when eating squid. Between the body and head, there's a mouth-like opening. It's not a mouth, it's a funnel. Water is sucked in and shot out through this funnel, allowing the squid to swim. That's how they move, slowly using fins, or quickly by shooting water out of the funnel. Now, let's cut the mantle near the funnel using scissors. Cut a bit and you'll find something interesting. See this part? It looks just like a pants hook. The mantle and head are joined by a hook-like structure. That's why they can fasten and unfasten. It looks like this. It's quite fun to try it yourself. When you fully open it, you'll see the internal organs lined up like this, covered by a clear membrane. This squid is a female. These are the eggs and above them is the gonad. Where's the squid's mouth? When a squid catches prey, it grabs it tightly, here. Many think the funnel is the mouth, but it's not. The mouth is here. It's located in the center of the arms. The squid's mouth, or beak, looks like a bird's beak. They also squirt ink, which led people in the past to nickname them crow-eating fish. If you cut around the squid's mouth, you'll see the esophagus, leading to the upper digestive tract. The digestive tract is in the upper body, so food goes up, is digested, and waste exits from the bottom. If you press on it, you'll see the waste come out. This is the anus. The ink sac is right next to it. Be careful not to break it. The largest organ in the middle is the liver. It's thought that the squid's liver helps it float, instead of using a swim bladder. Cut carefully.
This is the squid's eye. The squid eye is advanced and works like a camera, similar to vertebrates. The brain is located near the eyes. Especially in the case of octopuses, it is often misunderstood that this part is the head. But it is actually the body. And the brains of cephalopods, like squid and octopuses, are located next to their eyes. The yellowish part is the brain. You might notice there's no visible blood during the dissection. That's because squid blood isn't red like ours. Instead of red hemoglobin like vertebrates, squid have hemocyanin, a light blue blood pigment. That's why it's hard to see. Here are the blood vessels. They're almost invisible. Another unique feature, squid have three hearts. Here are the gills, and above them are two branchial hearts. In the center is the main heart, three in total. The gill hearts help the main heart pump blood and supply oxygen efficiently. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science, where science uncovers the mysterious.